guys welcome to my channel Vinyl Beauty I'm Debbie and if you've not been here before this channel is all about getting creative with makeup whatever your age so I'm 53 I'm from the UK I do buy some new makeup but I've really been conscious about what I'm spending my pennies on this year and it's nice to delve back in your collection and use some gems that you already own and this one actually I've never used I got it a little bit too late to the party to use it for Halloween last year and it's just been sitting in my collection so what better time of year to give it its first outing than in spooky season this year so we're going to be using the melt and beetle juice recently deceased palette to create the look that's on my eyes right now so if you want to see how i created it why don't we just jump straight into the tutorial but before we get into the eye look, I thought we could do cheeks together. I've already done my base makeup, contour and brows, but I thought we could do blush and highlight. So I want to use the Fairy Blush Palette from Lightly Makeup, one of my favourites. It's got a gorgeous purple shade in here. I'm going to mix the purple and the pink together so it's not too cool tone and ashy on me, but that's what we're going in with first. So it's Rose Quartz and Amethyst that I'm mixing together. And I'm going to pounce that quite high I wanted to use this one because I'm going to be using purple in my outer corner of my eyes and I just thought it would give us that kind of continuity and I love that quite high placement where you sort of almost put your blush into your eye look so yeah, that's what we're doing and then I'm going to do a bit of an experiment and see if we can use a green highlight <laughs> this is not going to be your everyday wearable look but are my looks ever everyday wearable? Not so sure they are, but you can turn it down and use whatever highlight that you wanted. If you don't have this palette though, totally recommend it. Both of them are great. The clown one is brilliant as well. But this one's got such a unique colour in it. I've never dared use the green, that one, but I've used, as I say, all the others. I love Sunstone, the peachy one, the most, I think, but but yeah, I just wanted a, a really purpley looking blush for this look today. I think that looks really nice. For highlight, as I say, I wanted a green one. This is discontinued, so I apologise for using this, but it is fantastic. I wish I hadn't gotten rid of this one. This is Laser Glazer by Kaleidos, and it's just so cool. I love it. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of that just on the sort of high points of that blush. Not going to blend it into the blush like I sometimes do. Just want a little, little hint of green there. It's very glittery and sparkly. Magical, quite honestly. Love this one. And I'm going to prime with the Max Soft Ochre Paint Pot as I normally do. I really wanted to use this palette over Halloween time anyway, but this one's for my friend Jane because she was the only comment I've seen in my previous video where I asked what you'd like to see me use I just got them too late to kind of use at Halloween time last year so never got around to it so if you're not familiar with the palette these are the colours there's a lot of similarity in these purples and quite a bit of similarity in those two greens as well it's not as versatile a palette as, as it might first appear really but I'm going to do something quite cool with it I think I want to use the kind of mustardy shade actually i'll probably go with the green and then blend it out with the mustardy shade these two and the inner part of my crease and then blend into the purple and the outer part of my crease and then the green shimmer on the lower lash line i think so that's the plan before i get into doing the shadow i'm gonna do my waterline because i want to smudge that out so i'm going to use mars by urban decay do really enjoy this pencil it's the only one of this kind of dark metallic kind of green that I have and it's still fantastic I've had it a long lot of years actually <laughs> be way over expired but still is fine I think so I want to take that about I don't know three quarters of the way across and it will also cover up the red eyeliner that I still have a bit of in my waterline that I can't get rid of from yesterday's filming session those Linda Halberg ones do not budge I so say just want to Smudge that out while it is still able to be smudged. And that'll just give me a good base for that shimmery shadow I'm going to use on my lower lash line. 
So I'm going to go in with the beetle juice shade, this one in the inner part of my crease first. I might not need draw a door, the more mustardy one, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I might just stick to this one. So I'm taking it a bit higher than my natural crease. If it goes on my lid, it doesn't matter. I'm going to cover it with a shimmer anyway. That's a really beautiful tone though. I love colours like this. So probably to about halfway across. I'm trying to use quite a bit of my eye space. I might blend out actually with that drawer door shade. I'll make my mind up in a moment. That just all over the lid with a dark green lower lash line would be beautiful quite honestly. But I always feel the need to try and do something a little bit more creative than that from posting a video. I'm going to take a little bit of drawer door this one and just blend just slightly up a bit. I don't want too much of that back up. I don't think it's going to make a massive difference. Well, you can see it. I wasn't sure you'd be able to, to see it, but you can. I'm just going to spend a bit of time blending in this inner corner. Because that's the area I'm pretty rubbish at blending in, so it takes me a little while. I'm really excited to see if Milt have another collection this year. They tend to do like their best collections at holiday season, like the Amora Turno collection, which is still one of their very best, and then this one last year. So whatever it is, although I've been on a low bite, I've been pretty much of a saint all year. I'm going to get the whole collection if they bring out something that really appeals to me. Now I'm going to take Lost Souls, which is the deeper of the two matte shades, and I'm going to put that in my outer V and kind of meeting it with that crease we've already laid down. I always forget how powdery milk shadows are. They are pretty fallout heavy to be honest, but I always make for such a good look. So to begin with, I'm just building that colour up, packing it really. Let's swap to a bit more of a packing brush just to get that pigment down and get it really close to my lashes. Yeah, that's better. Not getting any fallout since I've swapped to that. Beautiful purple though. And it's not patchy. It's a good purple. I'm trying to get quite a circular sort of shape going on here. And now I can start bringing it through my crease and to meet it up with that chartreuse green that we've already got going on. I do like this brush for kind of precisely placing shadow in the crease or building up like pigment in the outer corner. This one, I can't remember, it's the E45 from Sigma. It's one of my original brushes. I bought a Sigma set when I I started getting into makeup, so these have got to be five years old or more, and it's still a really good brush. Those look quite nice together. I suppose this is the obvious look to do with this palette, really, but still looking cool. Just making sure it just meets that green lower lash line. Now we've got a bit of a blend going on around the edge as well. I'm higher on the other side, so I need to go higher on this side. This is what happens, and it'll be up to my brows before we know it. And then I'm going to take the shade Paranormal, this one, and pack that over that liner on my lower lash line. I'm going to pick that up on a brush and spray it. It's not changed things too much, it's just made it a little bit more opaque. And the very front part here, I'm going to go in with another shimmer. I'm going to use a little accident, this one here. I'm just going to pack that one just in that little area there and kind of angle it down just slightly. Just a pop of unexpected pink there. I'm now going to use this Draw a Door shade again to blend out under this green portion here. So 
So now we've just got the lids to do. So I'm gonna do a half cut crease with NYX Glitter Primer. Put my head back so I can get right into that crease and a little bit above it actually. Give myself the most eyeball space I can. And I'm gonna stop where I get to the purple or just over the purple there. For most of my lid, I'm going to go in with the neurotic shade, this one here. And I might add a little bit of the other shimmer we've not used recently, deceased, just when it matches with the purple there. Like this looks a beautiful shade. I'd already swatched this one out and decided I had to use this one. I don't normally swatch before I start, but it's just one of those beautiful green gold kind of shades. Just stunning. Taking that over most of my lid, but I will leave a little bit of space, as I say, just to go in with one more shimmer, which will help to blend in with that purple matte. Mm, loving how this is looking so far. Quite a simple look, but effective, I think. Can I just wrap that a little bit onto that corner so that it becomes my inner corner highlight as well? And then just going in with recently deceased, as I say, and just filling in this little bit of gap between the shimmer and the matte. Managed to use pretty much all of the shades as well. So that one's not nearly as foiled and intense. It's like a satiny shimmer, but it is helping to, to bridge the gap a little bit. Just taking the other side of the brush and just Trying to get a little bit of a blend between the two there, so it's not so obvious where they meet. Okay, so that's the look to this point. Pretty simple so far. Just going to add a wing liner using one of the Melt Gel liners. This is for Tuna from the Amora Turno collection and mascara and a lip and I'll be back when I'm complete to wrap up the video. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. What do you think? I really like this one. It was quite simple to create, but it's really effective. I like this two-tone crease thing. I always think it really looks nice and there's nothing revolutionary about what I've done. You know, it's just a couple of shimmers on the lid and just wanted to make it a little bit more interesting with the green wing though. And I think that looks really nice. And then I've paired it with this lipstick, which is the star of the show. I don't think I've used this before. This was It's Showtime from the Melt and Beetlejuice collection. And I love a metallic lip and it's just really stunning. So hope you like the look. You'll have to let me know if you recreate something similar for Halloween. But that brings us to the end of this one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care of yourselves. I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.